uh, Mr. Sam Sloan uh, organized a um, event here at the Iolani Palace to celebrate the uh, statehood or admissions day. And some of us, at the very last minute, felt that it was so inappropriate for uh, their group to be here at the palace. And so we uh, kind of hustled and decided that it was important for us to be here. And especially when we found out that uh, Sam had, Mr. Sloan had invited the, the Kalani High School Band. Uh, so uh, w as we were planning to come here, we put a lot of thought into who was going to be here. And our main concern and the people we wanted to address primarily uh, were the children and their parents and the bandmaster. And um, to talk to them about the history of the overthrow, uh, to talk to them about how we felt about that in our history. and. and and also, uh, I brought up to the to the people to the young people uh, a story about the uh, Royal Hawaiian Band and how the members were uh, forced to take a pledge uh, to the illegal provisional government, which eventually became the Republic, uh, and how the band members were in tears, you know, uh, about being forced to to take allegiance to an illegal uh, government, and that they put down their instruments and they refused to play. That's real history, and it took place right here. And so for me, it was really important to convey in a, in a mo'olelo, in, in a way of talking to these young people, how we feel, what is history, and what they should be thinking about when they come to these kinds of events. Now, after that, uh, there were uh, people, uh, many of our people, who went straight up uh, to these organizers, and we engaged them. And I feel that we engaged them in a way in which they were not, they're not used to being uh, confronted. They are not used to having our people tell them, this is not correct what you are doing. They're not used to our people telling them our history. And so uh, I will not be surprised if they uh, turn around and twist this whole event and make it seem as if uh, we started, uh, uh, you know, a very bad confrontation with all of them. It's not the case. And I think that your video will show, as we started this whole program this morning, that we were here to educate. Uh, and believe me, we are also here to defend our place called the Iolani Palace. And them? Did corners. you threaten them? Did you do anything of that nature? Of course not. <laughs> The, no, we don't. We don't do that. That's not our style. Yeah, uh, we we don't we don't threaten. We believe that the uh, real empowerment is through talking, you know, and through uh, educating, in particular education. You know, as we go through this whole process right now of reconciliation with the United States of America, education is probably the most important thing for people out in the world, in the United States, to understand how we as Kanaka feel about the takeover of our government and the conditions of our people since that takeover. And what we do is we, we don't pick up bayonets, we don't pick up weapons. We sit down and we talk to people and we engage them. And we're not afraid to do that, you know, but we do not threaten, no.